to show you how to turn this ordinary coupon binder file thing into that. So basically this is a cover for your planner. You can use whatever planner you have. I'm just using my happy planner, uh, but you can basically make it out of the flap and an elastic hairband. And then you're just gonna put that right on here. And why would you do something like that? Why, why would why do you, why would you just to protect that? to hold it shut? Mm -hmm. A lot of these things are going for like twenty dollars on Etsy, and I thought, why not make your own? Especially when you can use things from Target and Dollar Tree, and it's like under five bucks. So if you're interested in seeing a tutorial on how to make this happen, just keep watching. So this is basically what it looks like with the flap on it. Um, if you are looking for the video about how I go into what this planner consists of, I will link that down below for you. But I really just saw these little flap things on different Etsy stores and floating around Facebook. And I thought, you know, this must be really easy to make. And then I came across a tutorial and if I can find it, I will link that down below as well. Um, but where someone made one of these out of a file folder accordion, so I thought, you know, this might be kind of interesting too. I did do a little bit of variation as to the original video, uh, so I wanted to kind of show you how I make it, but this is basically what it is. So it has this little elastic strap that kind of goes through the disc space right here to keep it on, and then this is what it looks like by itself. So it has the flap and then it basically is just the part of the file folder and then right here these are the pieces of elastic that I have on the inside just like that. So it's very easy to just stick your planner inside and if it can get on you can just wrap right in there and so that keeps your pages inside and intact and it's not going anywhere it's awesome so let me show you how i made this so basically you're going to take your file folder this is the one that is the short short this way one and long this way you don't want to get the ones that are like full papers because those are not going to be as good and they won't fit as well you'll have to cut it down more so want to make sure you take all the stickers off and I also removed the elastic right here in the bottom part of it because you're not going to need that. It's not long enough. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take this apart. So you're going to basically rip right here. You're going to rip the file part off. Okay. And you only have to do that on the one side because we're going to cut right down this line right here so that the holes are here, you're just gonna cut this front part off. And you can discard. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make the holes that are right here a little bit bigger. And I'm just taking a standard hole punch, just like that, and I'm just gonna punch through. Now here's the other thing. You can use these so they're close together. On the ones that I have, I left the holes. However, I do want to try something new for this one. I'm going to make it a little bit farther apart just to see if that like holds it steady more than the middle one. So we're just going to try that real quick. Now, like I said, I got all of my uh, supplies from the Dollar Tree except for the glue that I'm going to be using. Um, that is the E6000 glue. You can get this at Michael's, you can get it at Walmart. Target, I think, has it also. But I use this for so many things. It's just really awesome to have on hand if for any craft projects that you're going to use. Now, next, we're going to talk about the elastic band. I got a pack of four of these at Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. Um, and what you're going to want to cut, I don't know if you can see this, but there is this this little like joint where they originally put the elastic together and that's where we're gonna cut. All right, and next what we're gonna do is we're gonna just take our lighter, I use the one that I use for candles at home, and you're just gonna burn the ends of these so that they don't fray. 
Then you can make sure they don't catch on fire. Like this one wants to. And then that should keep that from fraying. So next what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my E6000. Um, and because it tends to kind of go all over the place, I just want to put something down so that it does not uh, go all over the place. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to thread. Put this over here. We're just going to thread this through the hole. Just like this. And we're going to put a little, a little bit of uh, E6000 right here. Just a little dot. And push this down. Now you're going to have to sit here and hold it for just a little bit. Now I just realized that I put the wrong side out. Silly me. All right, that's okay because with E6000, it takes forever to dry. So we're just gonna turn it over and do that, which is really fine because when it dries, that's just gonna provide that extra layer of uh, the glue in order to make it harden so it won't go through. So it's, we haven't really made anything, made any mistakes or anything. And once that feels like it's gonna stay down a little bit more, you're gonna wanna do that to the other side. So you're just gonna, again, put it through the hole. And put some glue on there. And then just kinda of hold it down. So we're gonna hold down both sides. Just like that, and we'll hold both sides down until it dries. Looks like I'm gonna need a little bit more E6000 on this because it's popping up. And if you feel like you need to wipe some away, away, wipe away some of the excess, you just take a Kleenex or a paper towel and just wipe around there. Okay, so now that these have dried, it does take a little while, about 10 minutes, so I stopped the video so that you could uh, not have to watch me sit here and hold it. So that should dry a little bit. So that is going to... basically get your elastic to adhere to this all right so while that's still drying I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the inside okay so that this is the inside that's just it after it has dried a little bit more and then there's the flap so you can just stick that right in here like that. Now here's the other thing you're going to want to do. Um, once this has finished drying, you're just going to cut this like right about here all the way up on both sides. So that's going to keep this, uh, as you notice, this is quite a bit bigger in length than this one is. So that's how you make it so that it fits a little bit better as you do this. Now the other thing that you can do once you're done with this is you can take washi tape, duct tape, anything like that, and you can decorate these to look however you want. Dollar Tree always has a really good selection of things that you can use in order to decorate your stuff for very cheap. So that is something that you can think about as well. Uh, if you want, I might put a picture of my finished one when I am done on Instagram so you can see what it looks like when it's all done. So make sure you're following me there. So that is basically how you're going to make this a nice little holder. And honestly, the whole thing with the exception of the glue probably cost me $3. 
not even that probably two because it was you know this was a pack of four and then this was a dollar so you can get a variety of designs not only at Dollar Tree but also at the Target one spot they have these for anywhere from a dollar to three dollars and you can have it mix and match so you can have a couple of these and honestly if you have any kind of disc system this is going to work fantastic to keep your stuff together also you know if you have one of these laying around if you have one of the uh, Aaron Condren uh, planner bands or if you have just another elastic like this another thing that you can do to hold it together is just take this this is a binder clip and you're going to just attach this to the back cover and then you can kind of use it to keep your papers together and this this will here let me show you what I mean by this so you basically you have this right here you're just going to open it up and you slip the these clips right here you're going to take those off stick the planner band inside of here and then put the clips back on so that when this is up like this the band goes on the outside of the clips and the reason why you're going to do that is when you open it you're going to attach this to the back cover just like that and then you're going to put the clips down so when you close it I'm gonna untwist it. All you have to do is just use it like that and it stays on. So what that will do is if you're in the middle of using your planner, you just take this off, but it's not gonna go floating around somewhere. It's still attached to your back page. And you can use an elastic headband, you can use ribbon, or you can use your Erin Condren uh, for any planner that you have really. So that is basically how you use this uh, nice little system right here in order to keep your planners all nice and together. So thank you so much for watching and if you like tutorials like this, make sure that you subscribe down below and that you are liking, sharing, and talking to your friends about it. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, keep calm and stay zany. Bye!